Hey there, just a quick video today to show you how easy it is to convert your propeller motors to hold... <laughs> hey there, just a quick video today to show you the conversion process for a... Dab. Propeller? I hardly know her. Hey, just a quick video today. That would be pretty quick, wouldn't it? Hey, just a quick... <laughs> Hello friends, just a quick video to demonstrate how easy it is to convert a Phantom 4 propeller holder thingamahoos or what's it's so that they can hold the Phantom 4 Pro types of propellers. These things here, they hold the propellers on. Okay, this is the Phantom 4 and this is the Phantom 4 Pro. I've never really liked the way that the propellers go onto the regular Phantom 4 and that's why I put wooden propellers on here just to try a new thing. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is, well, that's not true. First thing you need is a Phantom 4. Then you're going to need these. These are DJI Phantom 4 Pro Part 4 mounting plates. Link in the description. And if you're going to be working on your own drone, it would be handy to have a set of tools. This is my set. It was about $70. Totally worth it. It makes things a whole heck of a lot easier. Link in the description. And you want to get a set of genuine DJI propellers. Ugh, don't you hate the little condom they put on here. I don't know why they do that. I think that's really the only way that they can let you know that they are new, but it sure is annoying. Incidentally, if you want these wooden ones and they're perfectly fine, I will give away these along with their mounting brackets at the end of this video. Okay, now remember, before you take all of the mount, the old mounting brackets off, um, kind of take a Sharpie and mark where the black, because all of the Propellers are color-coded, black and silver, and so I will just put a little Sharpie mark on the ones that are for the black propellers. So try not to lose any of these screws because they do not give you any extras. Put the one with the black dots to where you marked, and then just do the others the same way. The underside of the new part has two little knobbies that will only go on one way. It comes with these little springs that's wider at one end than the other and that goes through the underside of this then onto the post of the motor. Again, don't lose any of these because there are no extras in the kit. So then you want to just put these little itty bitty minuscule screws in the plastic part here and I'll take the tool, put it into the screw first, and then guide it with one finger in here so I don't lose it. I know it looks like perhaps these little screws can slip down into this opening. There you go. I wouldn't try to put it in there, but just so you know, it won't fit. And make sure that they're tight, but not too tight, because then you can end up cracking this little piece of plastic and you'd have to order another set. Oh yes, one more thing. These little teeny tiny screws will have a bit of the factory Loctite substance that they put on there. You might want to put a little itty bitty dab on each one as these parts will be uh, rattling around quite a bit. And now your Phantom 4 motor is equipped with a Phantom 4 Pro bracket and ready to accept the much better attaching Phantom 4 Pro Pellers. Ha <laughs> ha, Phantom 4 Pro Pellers. Ha <laughs> ha. And there you have it. Your Phantom 4 is now disguised as a Phantom 4 Pro. Or is it? There's one more thing that you can do to really convince someone if you really want to do that. Take a dry erase marker. It's important that you use a dry erase marker for this. And then <laughs> you can draw on the side the sensors <laughs> and at a distance it'll look just like it. Do the other side as well and you have these in the front. Don't forget you're going to need them in the back too. <laughs> and there you are. 
your phantom foe pro, indistinguishable from the real thing. <laughs> and the best part, since you used a dry erase marker, if you ever miss your regular phantom four, there you go. Now to give the wooden ones away. Who wants to win these? They're made by Zor, X-O-A-R. They're fine propellers, and I'll include the brackets, of course, so you can install them. All you have to do to enter is comment below, prop me up, Ken, <laughs> and I will pick from those who commented. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, buh and bye. Uh-oh. What happened? What's this? Huh. I, uh, I think you can see me. Can you see me? I'm right behind that tree there. No, not that one. The one on the right. Can you see me yet? Hi. Um, <laughs> this is a weird way for me to test to see if people are actually watching the little blurb at the end with my cute little music. Um, I want to thank everybody. If you are watching this far into the video, I very much appreciate it. I work really hard on my videos to make sure that they're entertaining and informative. And so to know that you're watching all the way through is important to me. And I want to reward you for being so loyal and watching the entire video. So first, I will say thank you from the heart. I really appreciate all of you guys. And second, I've got a gift for those who managed to make it this far. <coughs> it's this. This will turn your, your Mavic Pro into a gimbal camera, and I didn't really have anything to do with this because I don't have a Mavic anymore since I gave it away. So. If you comment below, just to, uh, I want that clamp, Ken, then I will pick from those who commented. I'll also include a hat. And one more thing, are you a scroller? Well, if you're not, then you might be missing out on some of my content. If you go into the description and then scroll down, all the way down, all the way down, I will usually, more often than not, include a link to another video, some published, some deep, deep within my catalog and, and others that are just exclusive to whatever video you happen to be watching. So be a scroller. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And now here is the real uninterrupted ending thing of Melissa Who's It's. Buh and bye.